All right, well, let's take a look at that countdown to Tokyo. You're looking at it right now, 40 six days less than 46 days now standing between us and the postponed summer games but before we even get to tokyo some athletes are looking ahead to 2024 with some new events in store we're talking about olympic level break dancing can you believe this so john is joining us getting the details from one of the experts tell us all about it john Yeah, Julie, it, and it's going to be in the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, not the 1984 uh, right. Olympic Games, but uh, with Keegan Loy, the owner here at 317 Street Dance Academy, and Keegan says popularity's never been better for breakdancing. Yep. And what's interesting, we promised you guys a little dancing, and we will do that, but it is a kind of a battle situation. That's how it's going to be yeah. going on in the, in the Olympics, right? Yeah, it's a little bit different, like you had asked before, if it was similar to gymnastics. Um, it's gonna be more like a conversation, or in this sake, more like an argument, right? So you'll be able to say you'll, your point, you'll have your turn. Somebody dances anywhere between 40 seconds to a minute long, and then the other person has their chance to respond. Okay. So you'll see multiple rounds like that in the battles. Well, we are gonna be doing the same thing right now. Yes. And you are the expert. I'm a very obviously very beginner to left feet, but you can teach me just some basics here. For sure, for sure. So uh, first off, in breaking, there's five parts. There's top rock, go downs, footwork, freezes, and power moves. Okay. All right, so those are the five things. We'll start you off with the easy one, sure. top rock first. So top rock's the dance you do when you're standing on your feet. All right, so you follow the fours. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Yeah, All right. get your arms swinging a little bit too. And what we can do from here is we'll add a little spin. Boom, and we can go down and take it down to the ground right here. Oh, so good, so good. Here we go. Yeah. And you were telling me, this is sort of where break dancing happens, right? Yeah, this yeah. Is, so like, this is kind of the language, footwork it's called. So you'll see a lot of people doing a lot of head spins and power moves, and those are like the big flashy, like I call them like wow moves, sure. right? But the language of this dance, of what makes it so unique is the footwork. So the move I'll show you is called a coffee grinder. It's like the most basic one. We call it a one step. So <laughs> you're gonna start it. with your uh, right foot out, out here to the side. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your right foot all the way around like it's doing an entire circle around okay. your body. So it'll wrap around, it'll hook around our foot, we'll jump and bring it back out to the other side. Just like that, yeah. So let's do uh, let's do two in a row okay. and then let's hit that pose. All so, right. So ready? So one, two, and we hit our pose, bam! Just Julia, like that. Julia, Karen. <laughs> Back to you. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> we are very, very impressed. We've got to awesome. say, well done. That was fun. Exactly. Good job, John. <laughs> Thanks so much.